Hey guys, welcome to Civil Engineers Adda. My name is Abhishek Kamdoli Shatter, M Tech in Structural Engineering. So guys, we are planning to start a, a course on computer aided building, planning and drawing. So this is a very basic course which involves the use of AutoCAD software for drawing a building plan and uh, other details okay so guys so without wasting much time let's get started so uh, guys uh, you can see the syllabus which i'm going to cover in this uh, particular course so actually this uh, syllabus is particularly uh, suited for uh, the vtu vishweshwarya technological university students so it is a computer aided building planning now the course is the course code is 18 cvl 37 18 cvl 37 you will get this in your third sem okay it will be in the third sem of your uh, civil engineering journey so there are internal marks internal marks is 40 here so and uh, the sem and exam marks will be 60 and exam hours is three hours three hours complete exam and uh, the teaching hours here include that two hours of theory and two hours of practical so it's more uh, like both theoretical plus practical okay for theory it is two and practical two two yeah then uh, total number of lecture hours two okay fine so guys uh, what we are doing we are learning very very intensively the computer aided building planning and drawing so the software which i'm going to use here is obviously it's the it's like a mother for all the civil engineers like it's an autocad drafting software so it's an autocad software i will be using uh, 220 uh, 2020 version of autocad and i will the uh, uh i will give you all the drawings i will show how it it is been done so next go moving to the next slide so what are, now let's talk about the syllabus what's the main thing of uh, the course is the syllabus contains what it really uh contains so in module one okay in module one there's a module system drawing basics so you should uh, read selection of scales okay different scales you select for the drawings uh, 1 is to 50 so it may be 1 is to 50 1 is to 100 and the unit systems thickness of lines okay whatever lines you draw like it is a continuous line or a dashed line so all those things you will learn because it's very new to the third sem guys so it's very important to learn from the basics dimensioning like whether uh, the different dimensioning systems okay so the different dimension systems abbreviations what all the abbreviations are used like they can be the shortcuts and conventional representations as per as per is 962 as per is 962 guys you should note this code so this code i am going to provide in my description so this you need to download this code this is the code for the uh, drawing okay it's for the building drawing architectural architectural and building drawing okay what all the things you need to remember or to be noted before the actual drawing and next what is the uh, other thing is very important so let me er erase here fine so next thing is simple engineering drawings with CAD drawing tools see so, yeah, very important now we have entered into the CAD drawing tools so CAD drawing tools is very important CAD drawing in that particularly you have lines circle all those commands small small commands which are the tools for building a complete drawing you all need to learn that polyline arc multi line so these all things will come in the further uh, I, I have divided it into episodes okay this is a just first introduction episode uh, rectangles, spline, offset, mirror, rotate, scale, everything. So all the com uh, tools, all the commands that have been listed here will be uh, given as a d demonstration and its use in the drawing. Layers, layer concept, dimensioning, hatching, everything. 
okay so this is the and very and the second video guys let me tell you second video will be on is962 okay the use of is962 what all things you need to note before you actually start drawing okay so next slide so in third module you are going to learn sorry in the second module this is the module for actual drawing okay drawings related to different breeding elements so there are uh, you can say 10 okay so there are 10 drawings here there are 10 uh, drawings first one cross section of foundation cross section of foundation masonry wall rc columns with isolated and combined footings so there are two types isolated and combined footings second one is different types of bonds different types of bonds in brick masonry okay brick masonry like it may be a uh, uh you can say king uh this one english bond it may be the english bond flemish bond you should you need to have the idea of all those things and you need to draw it in the autocad different types of staircase uh, like dog legged open well staircase you will see initially this will be a new thing for you guys uh, but we, when you learn it very in detail then you will uh, get a good uh, idea of those things so that is why it was my plan to introduce this course lintel and chaja okay lintel and chaja detailing drawing rcc slabs and beams cross section of pavement pavement cross section septic tank and sedimentation tank so this comes in environmental engineering actually but it's a structural detailing next very important again uh, you are having layout of rainwater har recharging and harvesting system cross sectional details of road cross sectional details of road for a residential area with all for all services next last one is steel truss steel truss so so many things are there to learn here like if you start learning uh, one in each your uh, lab so it may take around 10 labs to finish this so we'll see what all combinations of uh, the component elements you have to learn so that it will be feasible for your uh, end semester examination okay so let's move to the see one more note they have given students should sketch to dimension the above in sketchbook before doing computer drawing yeah that is there always you need to create a rough drawing initially in this stage of your third sem then later you can draw it in an autocad software so fine next moving to third module uh, you have you can see here in third module uh, there's a building drawing complete building building drawing principles of planning planning regulations building bylaws okay what are these bylaws are the laws which need to be followed or which cannot be skipped during the planning of a building factors affecting site selection functional planning of residential and public buildings okay residential buildings and public buildings what is the difference for residential is uh, where the residents live or it's a it's like apartments to give you as an example for public buildings is where all the public will gather so it may be in your uh, it may be the government uh, institutions like uh, the vidan sauda that's a public building uh, many other things you can have as such an example design aspects for different public buildings okay design aspects also we will discuss according to nbc okay one more important uh, thing is nbc what is this nbc nbc is nothing but national building code building code okay it's a national building code it's a short form nbc so that document also i'm going to share uh, in my description below drawing of plan very important plan elevation sectional elevation including electrical plumbing and sanitary services using cad software using cad software see you have to draw three things here plan elevation and section three time uh, three important things in a set so what all uh, things you can expect here is single and double story residential building uh, single story or double story then hostel building 
you can expect a hospital building and a school building so these four things in these four uh, you can get any one of this four like you can you can you are having a, i'll sh tell you the question paper pattern also so you'll get two okay you will get uh, two uh, you can say drawings to be done so there is a uh, two options like both options in that you have to choose any one you have to choose any one so i I'll, I'll discuss that submission drawings sanction drawings when you submit when you want to construct the uh, uh, building you have to get plan from the local municipal corporation okay so for that we call it as a sanctioned drawing or submission it, that authority should give you a, a green signal for construction of two storied uh, residential building see only for two story residential building with access to terrace access to terrace including all the details and statement as per the local bylaws okay local bylaws one very important note students should sketch to dimension before drawing that is there one compulsory field visit exercise to be carried out see 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 there's a one thing that one compulsory field visit or exercise to be carried out fine single line diagrams to be given in examination like single line diagrams in the sense if you want to show a, a yeah let me show you a plan of the living room this is your living room and suppose let's say there's a kitchen here ah, there's a door entry so this is a line plan so here you will like not show the actual walls and everything uh, next one uh, yeah next is question paper pattern so this is very important there will be four questions here four questions with subdivisions four questions with subdivisions if necessary from module 2 four questions subdivision from module 2 with each full question carrying 25 marks 25 marks student have to answer any two questions in the sense in the first part like you can say even part a also there will be four questions one two three and four in this four the first one will be carrying 25 marks and 25 25 and 25 so in these four questions you need to answer any two any two of your choice any two you have to answer in part a and next we'll see there will be two full questions two full questions from module 3 with each full question carrying 50 marks so 50 marks so if there is a part b here so there will be two questions like five and six so how many marks 50 marks 50 marks in that you have to solve any one you have to solve any one so see here you got here 25 forza is uh, 100 and uh, 50 onesa is 50 eh, sorry 25 yeah i'll just uh, erase this you have to solve any two it's not 25 forza sorry guys it is 25 twoza it is 50 marks here and here you have having complete 50 so 50 plus 50 is totally you will be having 100 marks paper and that will be reduced to 60 uh, conducting examination pattern should of uh, should be in lines of first year CAD drawings okay examination paper format it's a drawing paper but drawing see it's a drawing paper but the exam will be considered will be conducted by batches it will be conducted by batches in computer labs okay it's a lab exam itself in lab only you should write uh, this exam you obviously know because you have to work on the software also question paper should be given in batches okay it should be given in uh, batches like different batches will be having different question paper so this is one uh, thing that i wanted to discuss is a question paper pattern and lastly we will see i'll just show the question paper uh, recent question paper also before that we'll see the test books or reference books here mg shah cm kale sy patki okay these are some textbooks mentioned by the university so you can uh, refer these or you can even refer your uh, lab manuals uh, so that will be fine and very important thing is you don't forget to read is 
962 and you don't forget to watch my second episode which will be completely based on is 962 1989 okay 1989 is the year where it it's a core practice for architectural and building drawings so don't forget to watch my episode 2 okay because it's very important it's on uh, is 962 itself a national building code it's here okay so those two things are uh, important uh, so like we'll i'll uh, so thank you guys uh, please do watch my content it would be very beneficial for you as uh, like brooming engineers i would go into all the details very specifically please do subscribe my channel and share this uh, video with your friends so that even they can uh, understand and learn in a better way okay thank you have a good day Thank you.